All right, y'all. So today we are taking, we are breaking the whole front end down of the truck. Uh, not like the up under it, but we're taking the headlights out. We're taking the uh, front valence off the uh, whatever those things that cover the front lights, the uh, fog lights. Taking those off. Um, the side pillars are coming off. Actually, I already got those off right there. Y'all can see that. I got one of them off. The other one I'm about to take off. Those are going all to get color matched. I need to get this stuff color matched before show season. And I need to get it done ASAP. So that's what we're working on today, y'all. So let's finish it up. tarp over the top just so no rain got it all wrapped up even up under the bottom just make sure like i said just make sure no nothing gets in there so <laughs> excuse me yeah my man So we got that taken care of. Um, I have no idea how to take those pieces off of my bumper to get the um, those little things that go around the fog lights. I have no idea how to take those off. So I'm not gonna fuck with them. I'll just have to take it to him. Hopefully he knows how to take it off and do the color match on it. If not, then I will be taking it to the nearest dealership or find somebody that knows how to do it. But yeah, I got somebody that color matches really good that probably knows how to do that. And I think he's kind of close. I need to hit him up. We got a lot of things coming in, y'all. New lift kit coming in uh, by the end of this month. Lights are getting sent off tomorrow. Um, what else we got? Paint match, hopefully get that done. Uh, still selling my wheels. Um, I kind of want to keep my tires though. I don't know if that's, that's kind of weird though, but still kind of want to keep my tires. So if anybody wants 26 by 14 KG ones, try it, um, hit me up. Floating center caps comes with them. So if not, then I'm going to order my own custom floating center caps for them and I'm going to rock out with them. So yeah. But yeah, that's all we got for the day. Uh, I'll pick it back up probably tomorrow or the day my uh, lights come back in and finish this vlog. So yeah. All right, y'all. So it's been uh, about two weeks. Two, may, it hasn't been two weeks or a week. It's been about, I'll say, I'll say it's probably been about two weeks. Uh, new headlights just came in. Finna get those and uh, unbox them for y'all. Extra lighting. Or of course, my bad. Alright. So, obviously, I've seen them, but y'all haven't. So, we gotta. Got 
it off that way. You know how you feel like somebody switched stuff up? I think you do it. Maybe not. Y'all can see in there, you can see Chucky's face. I got new bowls for this too. So I need to go grab that real quick. New switchbacks. Put these in there. Good to have good neighbors, y'all. I promise you. Look at 
and that one's in. So let's just check out some of the, see if anything works. Figure that out. So, my switchbacks that I put in are not working. So, I gotta figure out why. Figured it out. So I guess I have the the fucking light the wrong way, but it's working now. So hopefully I got it in there right. Motherfucker, hey, look, it's first time fucking with lights and stuff, man. So. But you'll never learn how to do some shit if you sit there and you let you pay everybody else to do it. So. Figure, hey, why not get my ass out here and figure out how to do it? YouTube will teach you every fucking thing you need to know, too. drill is not gone. The nuts are out of control. Yep. Look how short I am compared to this truck. I'm talking to the camera, not to you. What you need? You gotta have to turn the truck on and turn the wheels. Right now? Yeah.
change in here. I got what? Money. I supposed to. <laughs> Might need a bar or something. Nah, you good? <laughs> All right, turn it on. All the way? Yeah, so you can turn the wheel. guys so I actually I finished the headlights got them done they look fucking fantastic I'm still gonna have my uh yeah smell like cigarettes but I got three minutes left on my fucking uh, memory card guys all right y'all so final product finally got it done Chucky on this side 
watching YouTube on this side right there. That bitch is gas. You can see like the bike right there. Hey. How it look? I did that all by myself. I'm still gonna have my uh, my electrical guy come by and just check and make sure I got everything hooked up right and that I don't blow a fuse in that. But I think I did good. What you think, Mama? Oh yeah, let's get. All right, guys. So as y'all see, man, I I I did I, I did a little something. You know, happy with that. Um, and you're the dog eating sound. Yes, my dogs. We just fed them, so they're they're eating right now. So if y'all hear that in the background, that's what it is but super fucking happy that i did that man i've never uh messed with headlights but i was able to hook all of my stuff up correctly but like i said uh i am gonna have my um my electrical guy that does all of my wiring and stuff come out tomorrow and you know just make sure i got everything done right and he's probably gonna end up unplugging it and rerunning it because of i don't know i think i did a good job on it i don't think i have too much of messy wires everywhere but it is a lot of wires and he shout out my boy Jacob for helping me actually tell he I had to give him a call because I was confused on some of the stuff because I had like six females that was um that was free and then I had like yeah six male six yeah six <laughs> female wires that was fucking free and then I had like four female uh, male wires that was you know already plugged up and i had some free ones so he helped me figure it out and which he was the one that you know built them huge shout out to him i will be linking his instagram down below please guys if y'all want any custom headlights tail lights color match tail lights color match headlights hit him up my guy is solid and the way he puts things together i don't know maybe it's just me because it's my first time doing it but it's he made it very simple he labeled everything for me so y'all hit him up guy is crazy with it man he does a good job um so huge shout out to jacob man um oh yeah fucking so as i'm doing everything sammy asked me to order her some starbucks order her some starbucks the guy the doordash dude this is, doordash is just completely making us wanting to stop fucking you know going through them but we had the guy, uh, he brought us my food or whatever. He called me first trying to figure out where the address was, but he ended up fi figuring it out. Um, but he brings me my drink and he's smiling like a weird smile. This is not no average smile like, yay, hey, here's your food. Appreciate you uh, for the tip and I everything. Had a camera rolling, actually. Yeah, you did? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe we, maybe we got it on camera. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about this at the end of the video, but well, we just got back. yeah, we just got back. So, um, we, uh, I told Sammy, I was like, I'm like, I said, check that drink because the way he was acting was kind of weird. So Sammy checked it and it doesn't have the seal on it. Starbucks always put a seal over the mouthpiece of a drink. Didn't have a seal on it. So we ended up taking it up to Starbucks, which is, like I said, it's right up the road, but you know, I was busy. So figured the easiest way is just get it start get start uh, door back, DoorDash to bring it. So uh, take it back up there, and the girls looking at the drink or whatever, because I'm I'm bringing it back to her, just letting her know like, hey, kind of sketched out by my DoorDasher, uh, you know this and that. So uh, she uh, opens the bag because the, the normally you know like when you get something from any of them off DoorDash, there's a seal that goes over the top of the bag to keep it closed. And there's a seal that's over the cup from Starbucks. So the bag was, let's say, let's say this is a Starbucks bag. This it was it was sealed like this. So the seal was all the way down here now instead of, and then it was like open right here where the drink was sitting. So it looks like somebody like pulled a drink out, probably tasted it, and then put it back in there. Okay. So um, once she ripped the seal off, the seal that goes on the top of the mouthpiece of the cup was now holding the bag closed. It was up under the green tab that Starbucks had already put on there. So that told us that, okay, you opened the drink, tasted the drink, and then put the seal that was on the mouthpiece of the drink as the thing to hold the bag closed now. 
really sketchy dude. So I know from now on, if he brings my food, he will not. Uh, no, we'll see him, we'll cancel order. Yeah, if we see him, if I notice the name, I will cancel my order. Um, yeah, that's just, that was weird. It was sketchy. Well, on top of that, I'm glad I got a little sense of yeah. people. Oh, I wouldn't have drank it anyway because there was no seal on it. That's weird. I've never received a Starbucks shake without a seal. They always steal the chocolate. Yeah, so. But yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Starbucks, dude. We're well, not Starbucks. DoorDash. It wasn't Starbucks' fault. It's DoorDash' fault. And the inside of the bag was stained. Yeah. You can tell he put a stand in the bag. Facts. But. I stand in this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Me doing a little bit of handy work on my truck, trying to get everything ready for show ready, uh, for show season. Um, got a couple more things to do. Uh, lift kit. Um, what else? Wheel lights and audio. That's it. We'll be we'll be ready for show season, mom. But I love y'all, man, and I will see y'all in the next one. Oh, huge shout out to the uh, person that said something about me uh, burping in the video. <laughs> look, I just was, hey, look, I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm giving y'all, look, 100% me, man. This is just me, man, doing goofy shit like that. But love y'all, man, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. That was ugly. Peace.